In today's session, let us learn mixed strategy game. Last class we have seen pure strategy game and we have also covered, we have also discussed what is game theory, what is payoff matrix, what is a saddle point, what is mini max, what is maxi min, right? And what is two person zero sum game. Today, we are going to learn mixed strategy game. Okay. So here is a question for you. Consider the following payoff matrix and solve it optimally. And you are having two players, player A and player B. Strategies of player A are 1 and 2. And strategies of player B are also 1 and 2. And these are the outcomes. 9, 7, 5 and 11 for each combinations. Okay, that is for player A, uh, strategy 1, that is A1 and B1, outcome is 9, A1 and B2, outcome is 7, A2 and B1, it is 5, and A2 and B2, it is 11. So, these are the outcomes. For solution, first we have to find rho minima, that is minimum of each rho. For 9 and 7, the minimum is 7 and for 5 and 11, the minimum is 5. After finding row minima, we have to find column maxima. That is maximum of first column is 9. That is from 9 and 5, the value is 9. And from 7 and 11, the maximum value is 11. Then find maxi min of the row and mini max of the column that is maximum value from the minimum value for rows and minimum value from maximum value of the columns okay so you are you are getting maxi min value as 5 and mini max value as 9 here, maximin is not equal to minimax, so no saddle point. But in the pure strategy, we were getting the saddle point. That maximin value was equal to minimax value and it was having the saddle point. But here, it is not having saddle point. And in the introduction, we have seen that for pure strategy game, the player is taking one strategy and he is ignoring other strategies but in mixed strategy it is not the case he is taking a player is taking more than one strategies and some of the probabilities will be one okay so now let us see how to find value of the game and probabilities of mixed strategy game so having the same, there's the same matrix, we are having it. We are going to find the optimal, optimality, optimal solution. Okay, the first step we have to find is oddments for both row and column. Let's find the oddments for both row and column. Row oddment and column oddment. So row oddment is for first row, okay. The values of the second row are considered. That is, values of the second row are 5 and 11. Maximum value, greater value minus the smallest one. Okay. So, two values are here. The highest is, higher one is 11 and the less value is 5. So, 11 minus 5. You are getting 6. See this? The difference we are writing in as the row augment of the first row. Now, of the second, 9 minus 7. Okay, the difference, 9 minus 7. And you are having 6 and 2. Okay, that is for the first row, row augment is 11 minus 5 and you are getting 6. And for the second row, it is 9 minus 7 and you are getting 2. So, the row augments are 6 and 2. Hope this is clear. That is how you are getting the row augment. 
Now let's see how you are getting the column ornament. Same way, consider the second column for the first one, 11 minus 7, 4. And consider the first column for the second ornament, okay, 9 minus 5, that is also 4. Now you got the row ornament and column ornament. Row ornament values are 6 and 2 and the column ornament values are 4 and 4, okay. Now, the second step, find probabilities. That's the second step, okay. So, these are the ornaments. And now, find the probability of player A. See, P1, 6, this value, ornament, okay. Divided by 6 plus 2. For P2, see, 2 divided by 6 plus 2. Very simple it is. Take the row ornament first row augment and divide it by total augments, okay? And then second augment and divide it by the sum of the augments, okay? 6 plus 2. So, you are having the value. That is, for, for player A, P1 is 3 by 4 and P2 is 1 by 4, okay? Now, Q1 and Q2, probabilities of player B, that is Q1 is 4 divided by 4 plus 4 and Q2 is again the same value we are having. That is by 4 divided by 4 plus 4. So, both are 1 by 2. So, now we got the probabilities. Probability of player A, P1 is 3 by 4 and P2 is 1 by 4. See, they have, uh, player A has taken both the strategies and the sum should be 1. That's it. 3 by 4 plus 1 by 4 is 1. Okay. And for player B, he has taken Q1 as 1 by 2 and Q2 as 1 by 2. So, 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 is 1. Now, let's find the value of the game. That is step 3. We are having the probability now. Right. So, consider this as A. A and this is B, C and Okay, so value of the game is A into first row augment plus C into the next row augment divided by sum of the row augments. Very simple it is. Take the first value 9 into 6 plus 5 into 2 divided by 6 plus 2 that is 8. That is one way. Okay. Another way is, and the values we are taking is 7 into 6 divide, uh, 7 into 6 plus 11 into 2 divided by 6 plus 2. That's also 8. Or come to the column and column B. Okay. 9 into 4 plus 7 into 4 divided by 4 plus 4. Or, well, if the game is 5 into 4 plus 11 into 4 divided by 4 plus 4. That is also 8. Any one technique is enough. Now, here for just clarification, I have shown all the values. Okay, all are same. All are 8. In this game, well, if the game is 8. Now, the probabilities of player A, we have already calculated P1 is 3 by 4, P2 is 1 by 4 and of player B, it is 1 by 2 and 1 by 2 and value of the game is 8. Strategies of player A, probability we are writing A of 3 by 4 and 1 by 4 and for player B, it is 1 by 2 and 1 by 2. Okay. This is a way how for mixed strategy game, we are finding value of the game strategies and probabilities. Okay. Hope it was clear for you. Thank you.